There's moments, you guys, where like, there's a joke said, and then everybody laughs, and I look around and just start like laughing to blend in. <laughs> <laughs> that was my experience when I first um, lived in Russia. Humor in another language is so challenging. How long did you live there? I lived there for like two and a half years altogether. Oh my God. I got stuck in Moscow. I was presenting female, <gasps> and oh my, my ID does not match, and I was in Moscow airport for a connection, I think, what in like 30 this? minutes. This was eight months ago. Oh my God. And, and so we land and we're supposed to go to the little transfer desk or whatever. And the woman, she didn't speak in any English. Um, and she just kept looking at my ID and looking at me. And it was clear that she was disagreeing with the fact that my ID looked male and I looked female. Well, it's illegal and, in Russia. Okay, so that's what it was. So she detained me. Oh, my, um, that's, and that's they, really it was, I was terrified to the point where I had to snatch my own wig off my head in the line with all oh these my people God. just to prove to her that I'm, this is me and please let me through. And it was so humiliating. That's really a tragedy. There's a lot of gender fear in Russia. Yeah. I feel for her. When I was living in Russia, I had to disguise myself. I couldn't be Sasha Velour. I had to think carefully about what clothes I was wearing, how I moved my body. Queer people in Russia are living in an oppressive system. I just have to keep in mind that it doesn't take away my womanhood. Amen. A woman. <laughs> <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race, all new Fridays at 8, now on VH1. Hey, squirrel friend, when one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.